Okay, my name is Penny Ashton and my show is Busty Rhymes with MC Hot Pink. Right Busty on. Rhymes with MC and so Busty Rhymes, I'm assuming, is your rap name? Uh, yes, yeah, no, it's actually MC Hot Pink. There's been okay. confusion. Okay. I, I was just playing on the name there and everyone thinks it's my name, but you can call me whatever you want. So MC Hot Pink MC is your Hot is your rap name. Yeah, right. How did you come by that rap name? Well, I do, my show isn't, a, there's some rapping in my show. I do this big rap number at the end. I get some audience hoochies up to dance with me. Uh, so I was like, well, I need to have a name for that. And it's just gone from there for the whole show. So yeah, I do some rapping, some rhyming, some stand up, I do songs. It's comedy cabaret of stupidness is coming. Mean liking to describe it. Now, I like to think that, that I have some idea what, what a show called Busty Rhymes might be about, but why don't you tell me in your own words? All right, well, it's all about me as a single swinging chick all the way from New Zealand and my exploits in life, etc. There is mention of ex-boyfriends, uh, current wannabe boyfriends, all that sort of stuff. So it's, it's cabarets, fun, oh, wee! they like it. Uh, a lot of people have been having a really good time. I got four stars in the sun today, so that's exciting. I made a 90-year-old woman nearly die laughing, so that's something I can put on my CV as well, so that's exciting. Um, I do do a poem where I put my bra on my head, so just for the view uh, watchers at home, I'm well, going to do that now. This is your actual bra? This is my actual okay. bra, yes, Perfect. that's right. It's not a stunt bra, it's not your bra, it's my bra. Uh, so this is when I, go, I do a little countdown, three, two, one, and then it, you can see that it fits my head. So I, I am curious, though, whether it might fit your head. So we're sure. going to try and put this on your head right Let's now. So there we go. Oh, your head's bigger than my head. Look at that. No, it doesn't. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Looks like a yarmulke. Yeah. A pink yarmulke. Yeah. <laughs> I might just do that up there. So we'll do that up at the front. Excellent. You look pretty. Very pretty. Oh, there we go. There. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do the rest of the interview like this, I think. Yeah, no. I, uh, I'm much better at undoing them. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Drunk with one hand at night. <laughs> yes, that's right. Sure you are. <laughs> uh, why did you decide to write a show about boobs? It's not all about boobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to get that out there right now. It is not all about boobs. Uh, the first five minutes or so is, mm -hmm. and there is much mention of it. Well, I mean, when you get these size breasts at age like 12, you get kind of obsessed with them, and other people are as well. So, you know, I think go with, work with what you've got. Mm -hmm. It's basically the idea behind it. So, yeah. Yeah, so, but it's not all about boobs. We'll get that out there right now. And they don't get out during the show, but they are quite high and pushed up. What else is it about? What else? It's, yes, yeah, you know, I sing a song about how I find it hard to say no on the first date. Mm -hmm. um, I do a poem about boy races. You know, those guys who drive around the cars and they yell, at you out the window and stuff about how I would like to sleep with one of them, about what it would be like to be a Russian bride. Um, yeah, I do the poem with my bra on my head because it fits. Uh, I do a song about a man that told me he was single, then I found out he was about to have a baby. Well, he wasn't. Uh, his Obviously, his girlfriend then became wife was. Just So there's all that sort of exploits of my life and stuff like that. So I did a show as well here last year called Hot Pink Bits that did really well, mm -hmm. sold out every single show. So that was exciting. So I'm glad to be back. So yeah, and it's been great so far. I opened last night and went really well. So I opened at midnight. That was exciting. In the Strathcona Community League, which is my favorite venue. It's great. Anything else that you wanted to add? Um, no, I mean, I had a really fantastic time in Edmonton last year. I'm really happy to be back, and it's fun doing the show. If you want to find out more information about me, you can go to hotpink.co.nz, and uh, you can read reviews from Edinburgh and Adelaide and, and all over the place and, and stuff here as well last year. But, yes, so come and see my show. Do you guys say Z too? Yeah, we do. Oh, nice. I know, that's what somebody else said to me on <laughs> Fearless Fred on the big beer. I was like, oh, thank you for saying Z. I was like, that's what we do. So, yeah, <laughs> .co.nz for New Zealand. Perfect. I can't believe that you've done this whole thing with that on your head. That is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first man to wear that on your head. How do you feel? Oh, I feel... Mm. You feel saucy. Yeah, no, which is saucy. good because my show... Oh, that's right. My show is a bit rude. Bad language, bad behavior, and sexual themes is how I'm sort of pitching it. So you may be getting that idea anyway, but yes. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll get it off. That was funny. You look, you look hilarious with that on your head. <laughs>